Are you struggling to extract meaningful insights from complex and interconnected data in your relational database? This is where the use of SQL joins comes in. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on SQL joins by IntelliPath. Joining tables is a fundamental operation in SQL that allows you to combine data from multiple sources and extract valuable insights. Think of it like a puzzle. Each table contains a piece of the overall picture and by joining them together, you get a complete view of the data. In this video, we'll dive into the world of SQL joins and learn all about them. With that, let us take a look at the agenda for this video. First, we'll talk about what is a join in SQL. Then we'll look into the types of joins. Then we'll look at the syntax and structure. Then we're going to talk about strategies for optimizing joins. Then we'll look at the common challenges and how you can avoid them. And then we'll look at the real world use cases and with that, we'll conclude. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let us begin by looking at what exactly is a join in SQL. A join is an operation in SQL that combines rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. In a relational database, data is usually stored in multiple tables and joins enable you to combine data from those tables to create a single result set. For example, let's say you have a table of customer information and a table of orders. To find out which customers have placed orders, you can use a join operation to combine the two tables based on a common column such as the customer ID. The resulting table will include all the information from both tables, but only for the rows where the customer ID matches between the two tables. Joins can be performed using different types of joins. Each type of join operation has its own specific syntax and behavior. But the basic idea is to combine rows from two or more tables based on a common column. Now we'll look at what are the types of joins. Starting with inner join, inner join returns only the rows that have matching values between both tables. It is the most common type of join and is used when you want to combine data from two tables based on a common column. Moving on to left join, left join returns all the rows from the left table and the matched rows from the right table. If there are no matching columns in the right table, then null values are returned for the right table columns. It is useful when you want to include all the data from the left table, even if there are no matching rows in the right table. Moving on to right join, Right join returns all the rows from the right table and the match rows from the left table. If there are no matching rows in the left table, then null values are returned for the left table columns. It is the reverse of a left join and is useful when you want to include all the data from the right table, even if there are no matching rows in the left table. Finally, we have full outer join. Full outer join returns all the rows from both the tables and the matching rows between them. If there are no matching rows, then null values are returned for the respective columns. It is useful when you want to include all the data from both the tables. Now we'll look at the syntax and structure of joins. To perform a join in SQL, you need to use the join keyword followed by the name of the table you want to join. The basic syntax for an inner join is displayed on the screen. In this example, column one, column two, etc., are the columns you want to include in the result set and the table one and table two are the names of the tables you want to join. The on keyword is used to specify the join condition, which is the column that the two tables have in common. Moving on, let us look at the strategies for optimizing joins. When working with SQL joins, there are several performance considerations to keep in mind. Here are some strategies to consider. First, use appropriate join types. Choosing the appropriate join type is important for optimizing performance. In general, inner joins are faster than outer joins because they involve less data. However, there may be cases where an outer join is necessary to include all the data you need. Moving on, reduce the size of the result set. You can improve performance by reducing the size of the result set. One way to do this is to include only the columns you need in the select statement rather than selecting all columns. You can also use the WHERE clause to filter out unnecessary rows before joining. Next, optimize table structures. The performance of SQL joins can also be affected by the structure of the tables being joined. To optimize performance, you can ensure that tables have appropriate indexes, avoid using too many columns in a table, and normalize data to reduce redundancy. Finally, use subqueries or temporary tables. For complex joins, it may be more efficient to break up the query into smaller, more manageable pieces. 
This can be done using subqueries or temporary tables, which can improve performance by reducing the amount of data that needs to be processed. Now let's move on to the common challenges that we face and how you can avoid them while using joins. When working with SQL joins, there are several challenges and pitfalls that you may encounter. Here are some examples. First, handling null values. Null values in the join condition can cause unexpected results, such as missing rows or duplicated rows. To handle null values, you can use the is null or is not null operators. Second, avoiding duplicate rows. Duplicate rows can occur when the join condition returns multiple matching rows. To avoid this, you can use the distinct keyword to eliminate duplicate rows from the result set or use the group by clause to group data by one or more columns. Finally, avoiding Cartesian products. A Cartesian product occurs when you forget to specify the join condition, causing every row in one table to be matched with every row in another table. This can cause performance problems and generate a very large result set. To avoid this, be sure to specify the join condition in the on clause. Now let us take a look at some real-world use cases. SQL joins are used in a wide range of real-world applications. Here are some examples. First is e-commerce. In e-commerce, SQL joins can be used to combine data from multiple tables to gain insights into customer behavior and preferences. For example, a join could be used to combine customer data with purchase history to analyze which products are most popular with certain age groups or geographic regions. Second, logistics and supply chain management. In logistics and supply chain management, SQL joins can be used to track inventory levels across multiple locations or warehouses. For example, a join could be used to combine data from an inventory table with a location table to see how much of a particular item is available at each location. Third is financial reporting. In finance, SQL joins can be used to generate reports such as balance sheets and income statements. For example, a join could be used to combine data from a sales table with a revenue table to calculate total revenue for a particular period. Fourth is healthcare. In healthcare, SQL joins can be used to combine data from electronic health records with data from medical imaging systems, lab systems, and other sources. For example, a join could be used to combine patient data with lab results to identify patients with specific health conditions or risk factors. Fifth on the list is education. In education, SQL joins can be used to combine data from multiple sources such as student data, course data, and assessment data to analyze student performance and identify areas where additional support may be needed. For example, a join could be used to combine student data with assessment data to identify which students are struggling in a particular subject. Finally, marketing. In marketing, SQL joins can be used to combine customer data with marketing campaign data to analyze the effectiveness of different marketing campaigns and identify opportunities for improvement. For example, a join could be used to combine customer data with email campaign data to identify which customers are more likely to respond to a particular type of email. In conclusion, SQL joins are a critical tool for anyone working with relational databases. Whether you're in healthcare, education, marketing, or human resources, SQL joins can help you extract valuable insights from complex and interconnected data. By understanding the basics of joins and their various applications, you can unlock the full potential of your data and make data-driven decisions that can drive growth and success for your business. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides Microsoft SQL certification training in partnership with Microsoft. The course link of which is given in the description below.